Zach Simeone with a news update. The past week has been wrought with both memorial and denial of the Armenian Genocide. April 24th officially marked the 100th anniversary of the controversial series of events that led to the deaths of nearly 1.5 million people during and after World War I. These photos show the Armenian Genocide Memorial in the Armenian capital of Yerevan on April 24th. The capital also hosted the Forum Against the Crime of Genocide this week with 600 individuals from more than 50 countries in attendance, aiming to develop international laws to prevent crimes against humanity, starting with acknowledging the genocide. 800,000 to 1.5 million Armenians died from murder, disease, and starvation under the rule of the Ottoman Empire in 1915. Their historical successor, Turkey, stands firmly against the word genocide being used. Members of Turkey's Homeland Party marched through Istanbul on the anniversary from Istikhal Street to the French consulate, calling the genocide an imperialist lie. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan again avoided the word genocide in a statement today in which he said, quote, Millions from all nations also perished within the boundaries of the Ottoman Empire. I commemorate with compassion and respect all the Ottoman citizens, regardless of their ethnic and religious identity, who lost their lives under similar conditions during the war." End quote. Russian President Vladimir Putin and French President Francois Hollande were among a handful of foreign leaders to pay tribute at the Armenian Genocide Museum in the Armenian capital. More than 20 countries have come forward to officially recognize the genocide, however Western countries, such as Britain, have yet to do so. Protesters in London sought to raise awareness of the genocide this week, staging hunger strikes and marching through London. British officials traveled further south to Turkey to attend a memorial for the Gallipoli campaign from World War I, leading up to Anzac Day on the 25th to commemorate soldiers from Australia and New Zealand who served and died while at war. Red poppies are the predominant symbolic emblem of the occasion. These photos from our contributors show thousands of handmade poppies cascading down the steps of Federation Square in Melbourne on April 24th. Melbourne's Bolt Bridge had been lit red on April 19th to match the color of poppies, which some say also represent the bloodshed that stains all war. For New Zulu, this is Zach Simeone reporting. Now! What do we want?